the third picture we have to know about is polygons and especially regular polygons. In a regular polygon all the lengths are the same and all of the angles are the same and an awful lot of the problems you've got to solve have regular shapes in them. Not all, but most. Then in a polygon what we really want to look at is the internal angles and the external angles. And we've got to remember that internal angles are next to the external angles on a straight line, so they add up to 180. And if we look at the sum of the internal and external angles for various shapes, there's two distinct patterns. Looking at the internal angles, we start with a triangle, 180. Then every time we add a side, we add 180 degrees. So four-sided shapes, 360, pentagons, five-sided, we go up to 540, hexagons, 720. Then on the other side, if you look at the sum of the external angles, they're always 360. So when we want to come and look at an n-sided shape, or any-sided shape, we can draw a lovely little magic triangle, which has got 360 at the top, n, the number of sides on one side, and the external angle at the other. So all we've got to do is do 360 divided by the number of sides, we find the external. Then all we've then got to do is do 180, take away that external, and we have the internal. There is a formula for working out the sum of the internal angles, which is n minus 2 times 180, which is something we should know, but actually we don't solve most of the problems using it. We go down the route of finding the external angle from that find in the internal angle and then simply multiplying it up by the number of sides to get the answer we desire. Thank you.